Dr. Nuremberg's Mind Body Workout System. Welcome, 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 my dear brothers and sisters. It's an honor to be here with you, a privilege to be in your presence, to have the opportunity to reach deep within myself and share with you understanding, insights, and inspirations of a lifetime of experience. I'm dedicating today's talk in memory of my dear brother, Dr. Richard Rainwater. And it's my intention to bring you into greater power to be yourself, a power that will manifest itself in your work life, in your financial life, in your relationship, your spiritual life, your physical life, and of course, your mental life. We'll be talking about power as it manifests in all areas of your existence today. How to bring a greater power into your physical strength, into your harmony, your inner peace. These are valuable ideas that I'm going to be bringing you. In order to manifest the true power that is you, we have to manifest first your true identity. I want you to be who you really are, to be your true self. You have the right to be your true self. This is your God-given natural right to be who you are. We don't have to imitate other people to be like them. We have to be ourselves, and we have that right. And in doing so, we have to do it in a respectfully real manner. That is, with kindness, wisdom, and respect of boundaries. So we have the right to be our true selves as long as we're not ca causing harm to others. If we're not our true selves, we can never manifest our true power. If we're not our true selves, we can never become masters of power living. Yep. So in doing this, we, we have to achieve this through our thoughts, knowing how to deal with our thoughts. Let me demonstrate an enormous power that you have, one that you probably take for granted. Just as we take breathing for granted, most take this power for granted as well. Right now, I'm going to ask you, please, to have a pleasant memory. Think of something that happened earlier today that you liked, that was pleasant. It could be a meal you had that you liked, or a person that you saw that you loved. Just take a moment and have that memory. Now, I know you did that effortlessly, flawlessly, and naturally. It's a God-given power that we have. And it's actually the foundation to becoming a master of power living. I want you to be able to be that master of power living. Now, look what you just did. You chose the time dimension of your thought. It was the past. You chose the polarity of, it, of your thought. It was positive. It wasn't negative. It was positive. So you were able to, at a moment's notice, to choose the polarity and time dimension of your thought. That is an amazing power. Only humans can do that. Uh, no other species can do that. Animals can have stimulus response. They can do some problem solving, but they cannot choose their thoughts. Only humans can do it. This is the foundation for power living. Because as you learn how to control your thoughts, then you'll be able to control your, your words and your actions. And you'll understand that your true identity are not the thoughts that pop into your mind, that your true identity are the thoughts you choose. Right now, to further exemplify this, you've seen First of all, that you can choose the polarity and time dimension. Now you're going to choose the specific thoughts. Choose right now this thought and repeat it to yourself three times. I wish you well. Repeat that to yourself in your thoughts silently. I wish you well. So you did it naturally, effortlessly, and flawlessly. It's a God-given ability that you have. So now you've seen you're able to actually choose the content of your thinking. Congratulations. It's very natural. A child could do it if you ask the child to do it. 